Since we love watching tons and tons of VTubers on YouTube and Twitch, we've been noticing a lot more of them have been doing something like collaborating. And since collaborating has been getting more and more popular, more and more people are wanting to do it. But at the end of the day, how do we actually collaborate like these big VTubers? Well, that's what I'm gonna teach you in today's video. I'm gonna show you two different ways on how you can collaborate with your fellow VTubers. My name is Anubis Lives and I am your VTuber Senpai. On this YouTube channel, we cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. If you happen to like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you like today's content or what I do on this channel, please hit that subscribe button and well, let's get into it. Before we jump into either of these methods, we gotta make sure we have a few things set up first. And mainly what we're gonna do is set up things for the person that's sending out the signal to the streamer. So if you are the streamer that's watching this video, make sure you send this video to your friend so they know what to do next. First thing we need to make sure is that our software of our choosing has a green screen set up inside of it. If you do not know how to set up a green screen in your particular piece of software, make sure you go through my channel and see which software you have. I probably have a tutorial for it already set up. If not, a quick Google search will give you the answer that you require. If you have an application like VC Face that uses a checkered background for transparency, no worries, I got you covered on that as well. So if you haven't seen my videos already on how to add VC Face to OBS, make sure you watch that in the note card up above. So applications that have a checkered background like VC face, all we really need to do is go to settings, general settings, scroll down just a little bit. We're gonna enable virtual camera for this session. Then we're gonna click on load background image, swap that PNG to a JPEG, click on that, boom. That's all we gotta do, which will lead us into the next section. Now, if your software does have the capability for a virtual camera, where you're gonna find it is in settings, scroll down just a little bit, and then select virtual camera. Make sure that's checked off, then you should be good to go. Not all pieces of software has virtual camera built into them, so make sure you watch my video in the note card up above so you do have the ability with any piece of software out there to send out, well, basically a virtual camera. Now that we got those set up, we're ready to move on to the two different methods that we're gonna be using. So for the person that has the green screen set up, all you gotta really do is, well, basically share your screen. You're gonna click on screen, you're gonna click on Luppet, for our example right now, and you're gonna click go live. For the person that's receiving, what we're gonna do is, well, basically we're gonna make this full screen. If show members is appearing, just click hide members and just let it run in the background. Then we're gonna open up Discord. We're gonna hit the little plus sign under sources. Then we're gonna go to window capture. We're gonna call it Discord. And we're gonna make sure that Discord is selected. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this so we can actually see, well, one, our OBS, and two, our person. So we're gonna re-enable my VC face. We're going to adjust myself to the proper size. So there I am. There's our caller to over there. What we're gonna do now though, is we gotta make their green screen disappear. How we're gonna do that is well, we're gonna right click on the Discord. We're gonna add filters. With filters appearing up, we're gonna hit the little plus button. We're gonna add chroma key. Click okay. And because we got a green screen, by default, it should just show up and work. Don't worry about the little trial thing. You shouldn't have that on your screen at all. And just like that, you got method one of two completed. And if this works for you, you're pretty much done. You're good to go. Your collab is now a thing. Okie dokie. So let's now jump into method number two. So the person that's sending the video signal to the streamer needs to head to obs.ninja. Once you're here at obs.ninja, all you gotta do is click on add your camera to obs. Once there, it's gonna take a second to load. Give it a second. One, two, here we go. Then we're gonna go to audio sources. Typically you're gonna choose no audio, mainly because you're probably gonna be in Discord. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna select the appropriate virtual camera. Right now, we're using the OBS virtual camera, so we're gonna go down, 
and we're going to select OBS virtual camera. And now that we got the virtual camera selected, what we are going to do is we're going to hit start on the browser. And then at the very top, we see that we have a URL. We are going to copy that URL and we're going to send it to the streamer that's hosting us. Okay, so now the streamer just needs to copy that code. We're gonna go back to OBS. We're gonna go under sources. We're gonna click plus. Then we're gonna to go to browser. We're gonna call it collab. We're gonna click okay. Then we're gonna grab that URL. We're gonna paste that URL into it. We're gonna change the resolution to the proper. So 1920 by 1080 or whatever they're outputting it as. Click okay. Now we're gonna adjust it to the appropriate size, but we still got a green screen here. We need to remove it. We're gonna right click on collab. We're gonna go back to filters. Then we're gonna click the little plus button. We're gonna go back to chroma key. We're gonna click okay. Boom, we're there, we're done. We got our collab person with us. And now we got us with us as well. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna adjust ourselves to the appropriate size. And then boom, you're clapping. Now, the best thing about this is, well, you can have as many as you want, where with the Discord, you're a little bit limited. So if you got three, four, five friends that want to collab with you, all you got to do is have them send you their browser source code and you're, you're Gucci. And like I just said, this method is probably the better one out of the two, mainly because you can have as many as you want without any restrictions whatsoever and not only that you're not restricted to discord's bandwidth limit you got as much bandwidth as you require now that you know how to collab when are you going to start let me know down in the comments below and if you found this video useful please consider sharing it to others in the community whether it be on reddit facebook whatever let's get a whole bunch of collabs going as fast as possible again my name is anubis lives I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, VTubing, gaming, whatever. And well, I'll catch you the next one. Bye.